Shook by the deadliest shooting in the state's history, this community in Winder, northern Georgia, holds a vigil for the victims of Appalachie High. Still kind of in like a state of shock. Like you don't, like it's, you hear about this kind of stuff, but you like never think it's going to happen to you until like it's happening. And then like once you're in that, it's like this is like really happening. Like it's, it's like a surreal experience. You know, I think it, we're going to hurt for a very long time. I think we're going to grieve for a very long time. Um, I hope it will bring our community closer together. Morning classes were taking place on Wednesday when a 14-year-old student at the school opened fire. Some tried to pile desks and chairs to create a barricade, while the words hard lockdown appeared on screens in the classrooms as school kids scrambled for shelter, eventually pouring into the football stadium. Within minutes, two school resource officers reportedly encountered the shooter, who immediately surrendered. The suspect, identified as Colt Gray, was taken into custody, where he's set to be charged with murder and tried as an adult. The FBI says the teen and his father had been interviewed more than a year ago by local law enforcement over threats of a school shooting online. But the teen denied making such threats. Authorities have yet to find out how the suspect obtained the gun and got it onto the school premises. On the campaign trail, both presidential candidates reacted to the news. Donald Trump sharing his sympathy on Truth Social, calling the shooter a deranged monster, while Kamala Harris condemned it as a senseless tragedy. The incident has once again added fuel to the debate on U.S. gun control and safety, with 36 school shootings and 30 mass killings since the beginning of the year.